these limbs enable the wearer to claim control over their body and change perceptions of what it is to be disabled. I make realistic looking limbs for amputees and also more alternative ones, which I create with other artists and specialists with different skill sets. What starts off as melting rubber and mixing colours eventually ends in the creation of something astoundingly lifelike. I'd want the um, limbs to reflect people's characteristics, making something super sexy, something humorous, something thoughtful, maybe something completely absurd. I've always been interested in blurring the boundaries between what's real and what's not, and ultimately making something realistic looking without the tricks of the camera. Soon after graduating in special effects, I got a job making realistic prosthetics for amputees. So I was making fingers, toes, partial feet, partial hands, and full arm and leg covers. Once I got to meet a little girl called Pollyanna, who was um, uh, injured and had her limb amputated. The idea of just having a realistic limb made to match to blend into society felt a bit like limited in terms of choice. And so we kind of spoke about what she could have that would make her, you know, stand out a little bit and, or engage her. This is a leg that I had with pictures of my family on. I could see psychologically that it was quite interesting going down on this path. I've got this space below my amputation that I can play with in sort of like an artistic and creative way. And I think that's part of what helps me come to terms with having had my amputation. I thought, okay, well, I've got to find someone who would be willing to kind of show some of these pieces and, 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 and own it. And so I found um, Victoria Modesta. People just a couple of years ago, you know, before the Paralympics happened, really, um, it, you know, it was a taboo subject. You know, people were quite scared to see someone wearing a prosthetic. I remember her saying it was like being a mutant human in the best possible way. From that, the, the Alternative Limb Project was born. This is one of my um, favourite pieces that was created for Kelly Knox and it's called Materialize. And the idea was that it was made up of all different earthly materials and non-earthly materials as well. There's the technology side, medical side, and then the art side. There's fashion that comes into it. And also, ultimately, there's a person with their own story. Losing your limb um, and also being born with a limb difference um, can be incredibly challenging. You've got other people's perceptions to deal with apart from your own. The Alternative Limb Project is a way of breaking down those boundaries and turning the whole conversation on its head. 